Hi guys, so today's video is going to be an original tag. It is called the football book tag. I love football and I've made this tag so that you don't have to love football to do it. You can do it regardless and also the Super Bowl just happened so I thought it would fit. The way this tag works is there are 15 questions and every single question has some kind of football related thing then a question that's kind of associated with that. Starting with the first question, it is false start, and in football a false start is a thing you get penalized for if someone on the offense moves before the play has started. And the question that coordinates with that is what's a book that you had to start more than once? This comes as a surprise to a lot of people because I'm constantly raving about this series, it's my favorite trilogy of all time, but I actually had to start the first Mistborn book, The Final Empire by Brandon Sanderson, twice. Question number two is MVP, which in football that is the most valuable player and for me I've changed this to what is your most valued pages so the book that you value more than any other book it was kind of a toss-up for me because I have my Polish miss or uh, my Polish Mistborn books and then my Polish Witcher books and it kind of came down to which one was harder for me to get and those would be my Polish Mistborn books question number three is offensive linemen which are the guys that are at the front and like protect the quarterback and stuff they're always the really massive big guys and so for this question it's name a really long book or really long series the longest book I have read would be Oathbringer by Brandon Sanderson which is did I even grab it yeah Oathbringer by Brandon Sanderson which is over 1200 pages the next question would be rookie which is a person who just entered the league and for this question it's a debut novel you can pick a debut novel you want to read a debut novel you think was fantastic for me I'm doing the first option which would be a debut novel I want to read in Ember in the Ashes by uh, Saba Tahir because everyone says this book is amazing. The next question goes with Peyton Manning who is a quarterback who won the Super Bowl with two different teams. He won with the Colts and he won with the Broncos. So the question that coordinates with this is who is an author that has written two different books or series that you love? This is no surprise. I'm going with Brandon Sanderson because I love Mistborn and I love Storm my archive. The next question goes with Lambeau Field, which is where the Green Bay Packers play, and it is known for having awful weather sometimes because it'll snow and it gets so, so cold and they still play, which is ridiculous. But anyway, the question that goes with this is name a book that was very atmospheric. For this one, I picked Burial Rites by Hannah Kent, which is about the last woman to be executed in Iceland. I read it when I was in Iceland, which was amazing, and it is so atmospheric. The next question has to do with a Hail Mary, which is usually done at the end of the game or the end of the first half sometimes, and it's where quarterback just throws the ball and then hopes that somebody catches it in the end zone. But anyway, the question that's gonna go with this is name a book with an amazing ending. I say over and over and over again, The Hero of Ages, the third book, and the first era of Mistborn books has the best ending of any book that I've ever read. But to prevent me from just constantly talking about Mistborn, uh, I'm gonna have to actually go with the book Our Dark Duet by V.E. Schwab. This is a duology and it's young adult and it's dark and it's morbid and very interesting. And the ending for me, I wouldn't say it saved the book, but I kind of just was thinking like, these are good. And then I got to the ending and I was like, I was not expecting that. That was a good ending. Next question goes with the Raiders, which is a team who's kind of known for having some pretty intense fans. And so for this question, it's what's a book or series that also like the Raiders is known for having intense fans. I don't even own these books, but honestly, Harry Potter fans, like hardcore Harry Potter fans are nuts. In like a happy geeky way, I'm not like bashing them or anything, but man, some Harry Potter fans are really intense. Next we have the Walter Payton Man of the Year Award, which is an award that's given to a player in the NFL who has done an extreme amount of kind charitable works. And so for this, it's name a series or book whose author is known for being charitable. I know that you guys hear me talk about him all the time, but I really admire Brandon Sanderson on his website. People ask him often if they can send him stuff or send him gifts for like the holidays or his birthday or anything like that. And so what he does is he has a list of charities and says like, I don't need anything. I have everything I could ever want. Thank you so much for the kindness though. If you really want to gift me with something, then here's a list of charities that I would love for you to maybe donate to. Also, I know that JK Rowling is one of the few individuals in the world who like lost her, I don't know, something 
ridiculous like billionaire status or something like that because of charitable giving which I think is pretty awesome. Next up is the Patriots which are the team that's the team that just lost the Super Bowl which fills me with joy because I hate the Patriots but for those of you who are fans of the Patriots I'm sorry for your loss but anyway they are known throughout like the last decade for constantly getting into the Super Bowl it's very aggravating so for this question is what is a book or series you are so so tired of. I'm a little tired of everybody losing their mind over the book Name of the Wind because I've read Name of the Wind and I read it after everybody told me as a fantasy fan it's the best fantasy thing that they've ever read that the fantasy genre will never be the same I'll never read fantasy the same way again and I really would like people to stop saying that. The next question has to do with the quarterback Brett Favre who has since retired and stayed in retirement this time but Brett Favre for a little bit there was known for retiring and then coming back to the NFL, so for this question is, what's a book or series you thought was over but kind of had a JK moment and then there were more books in the series? I'm going to have to go with the Red Rising series by Pierce Brown. This originally was just a trilogy and then Pierce Brown ended up releasing the book Iron Gold, which is going to be the beginning of a second trilogy. And I thought that when I started Red Rising, I was like, oh, there's three books in the series and that's what it used to be but not anymore. Next question has to go with the Cowboys, which is a team that happens to be my team, but I know very well as a Cowboys fan, you either love the Cowboys or you hate the Cowboys. So for this, what is a book that people either seem to love or hate? I think in general, anytime a book or series gets really popular, all of a sudden it almost becomes cool to not like that series, but I'm gonna go with a book that I don't think is as popular as some others out there, and that would be The Wrath and the Dawn by Renee Adhi. When I ask my friends what they think of this book, I have yet to read it, but they either tell me like, oh, I really loved it, or they're like, I hate that book. Next, we have a trick play, which in football is just any tricky play, basically. For this question is, what's a book that had a plot twist? I actually saw the plot twist coming in this book, but there is a plot twist in the Red Queen series that some people find really awesome. And then also, I can't help it, I have to mention, in the Well of Asc Ascension, the second Mistborn book, Ah, uh, I, every time that somebody reads that book and I'm chatting with them about it, I'm like, did you see who that person was? Were you expecting it to be them? And people are always like, no, and I wasn't either, so I've got to mention that one also. The next question has to do with cheerleaders, which I don't think I have to explain what those are. And so for this question is, what's a book with a cover that's very flashy? For this question, I'm actually going to go with Warcross by Marie Lu. I've yet to read this, but... It's not that flashy, but I do think it stands out because it's so kind of colorful, all these different shades on this white, and then it's shiny. And not only that, but the, the book itself is this really bright color. And lastly, we have Roughing the Pastor, which is a penalty that happens when the quarterback no longer has the ball, but still gets wailed on. And so for this question, it's name a book that you would love to throw at the author. I honestly love the Red Rising series, but man, in the new book, Iron Gold, there were some decisions that some characters made that made me so angry and I was just so upset about it. And I was like, dude, Pierce Brown, what are you doing? Anyway, there you go guys, that is it for the football book tag. As far as who I tag, I tag anybody that wants to do this, anybody who's a fan of football, and specifically I tag Books and Looks, Jashana C and what cast read. Let me know what your guys' answers would be to these questions. But anyway, if you like to tag, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Click the little bell icon so you get notified when I post new videos and check out some more of my videos right over here. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys later. Bye.